it's time to check in on our worm cafe. That's the rectangular worm bin. I'm peeling back the blanket. Oop, there's one worm who is up on the blanket. He's gonna have to find his way down into the bedding. Let's check on where we buried the string. Remember it was a piece of cotton fiber that I ripped off the cotton towel. It was in this corner. I'm digging down, I'm looking for it. Oh, I think I see something white. Is that it? Oh, there it is. So there it is. So actually, boy, it doesn't, it doesn't look to be that effective at all yet. To me, my hypothesis is not gonna be correct. Just to revisit my hypothesis, it was that the string would be 80% disintegrated by tomorrow. So come on worms, maybe I'll take this worm over here. <laughs> I know it doesn't work that way. I don't wanna touch him. I don't wanna disturb him. Okay, so I'll bury him there, bury the string there. And hopefully the worms will find it and start eating it. Okay, the experiment I want to start today, and we'll start it in this corner over here. Now, I heard that worms love papaya, and I've given them papaya ground up as part of um, their regular food, but this I've got the whole um, rind of the uh, papaya. We scooped out the middle and ate it, and so I thought I would just snuggle this I guess I want to have some some bedding up in contact with it in the middle. So I'll put, because the worms have to be able to reach the top of it. So I've got it snuggled in there, papaya side down, the fruit side down. Now I just have to cover the top of it with bedding. Oh, I might need to be start adding some more bedding because, oh, there's a paper towel from before. Uh, I don't want to uh, I don't want to have the papaya visible if you have the papaya visible then sometimes you get um, then you, sometimes you get fruit flies and everything flying around so okay so I've got that buried and while we're here let's just do a quick check on our other experiment the collard leaf that is right here somewhere oh there it is Oh, look at the little tiny pieces of that now, Micah. That is really disappearing quickly. Um, that's a piece of cardboard. So that's some of the browns. Remember the collards are some of the greens. There are worms in this area. So they've obviously found the collards and are eating the microbes that uh, grow on it. So that's nice. The collard is almost gone in this worm bin. So I'm pleased. So I will tuck these worms away, let them get, oh, and the papaya became visible again, darn it. So I just gotta put more bedding up on the papaya so the worms can crawl under there and find it. All right, so what's our hypothesis gonna be with the papaya, Micah? The papaya has been sitting on my counter for about four days, so it's not brand new today. So my hypothesis will be in two days, we will find worms in the proximity of the papaya. So in two days, when I open the worm bin, I will find worms in that area with the papaya. And I'm gonna have to change my hypothesis for my cotton um, threads to be that it will take the worms one week to disintegrate 80% of the threads. So it's day one, so in six more days, we will check right down here where we buried the yarn and see if we can find any remnants of it. Okay, Micah, let's check the can of worms on the next video.